Manchester United's exhilarating start has been a joy to watch. But today, they're without their inspirational captain, Brian Robson. He pulled a hamstring while leading England to their win over Turkey. Remy Moses takes his place, and Ron Atkinson has settled for only one winger today in Jesper Olsen, relegating Peter Barnes to substitute, the Paul McGrath pushed off into midfield, and Graham Hogg returning at the back. It's a match, of course, that Liverpool, even at this relatively early stage, simply can't afford to lose. Surprisingly, though, they haven't won a league game outside of Liverpool yet this season. Their only away success was the derby match at Goodison Park. Kenny Dalglish has left himself out today. He got a slight knock in training. John Walk replaces him, and both Steve Nicholl and Alan Hansen are back after injury. The man in charge today is Alan Saunders of Newcastle. So a thunderous atmosphere generated by this capacity crowd of 54,000 as Liverpool kick off in the white shirts and dark shorts. And what a confrontation this promises to be. United haven't yet conceded a goal at home in the league. And if Liverpool are to break their unbeaten run, well, they'll have to beat United for the first time since Ron Atkinson came to Old Trafford. Moses, a vital role for him today in place of Brian Robson. Duxbury. Now off us from Hughes. And here's Moran captaining United today with Robson out. And Hogg back in the side after five matches out through injury. Hanson with the clearance. He's Liverpool's captain. Here's Duxbury. Had a fine match last week against Queen's Park Rangers. Stapleton, the ball knocked in. And OB was caught in possession. He left his foot trailing there. As the graph tried to uh, weave his way through. And Liverpool quickly pulling everybody back to defend this free kick. White side is there, and Olsen. And Warren too. Whiteside might try one from here, he has, he's curled up too high. And what a season Norman Whiteside has been having, and he's just been named the young player of the month. Amazing to think he's only 20, he's played more than 160 first team games for United. Duxbury. Support here from Whiteside. Crashing off the ball then with McMahon. And these two are going to have a right old battle in the heart of the midfield today, I'm sure. Two very competitive players. Lawrence then with the free kick, in fact taken by Mulby. And here's Beglin. Again, Johnson made a good positive run up front. Plenty of space for himself. Finding Whelan. Here's McMahon. Could be on for the shot. Well driven too. Well, Steve McMahon has scored four times already for Liverpool. It's only his ninth game for the club. Here's Mulby playing as one of the two markers at the back with Lawrence in the spare man. Mulby. Picking up Hughes most of the time. Here's Rush. Now then for McMahon. It's Beglin. The three white shirts waiting in the middle. Beglin can find them. Header was from Rush. Well, that was the nearest thing to a chance yet in this game. And Ian Rush couldn't put it away. Hog header. And here's Nickel for Liverpool. Now then to McMahon. Picking out Whelan. And support from Beglin. Oh, Johnston in space. And no one had covered the run then of Johnston. Olsen. Now can he escape McMahon? The two number 11s together. Hughes has arrived in the middle now. This is Stapleton. White side here. And was there a hand? Well, the United players felt the ball was handled there as Whiteside climbed for the cross. The referee saw nothing wrong. The protests were in vain. 
Can Liverpool survive? Was there a hand there? Now Johnston. Still Johnston. Beaten away though by Bailey. And at last some excitement. Whiteside. So nearly put United in front. And the United players felt that there was a handball inside that penalty area. Here's Beglin. The tempo suddenly rising with the flags up. Offside against Johnston. And there was certainly a chance for Greg Johnston at the other end. The shot well saved though by Gary Bailey, who was in the right place. Came off Lawrenson. Now, can United find something here? As we move into time added on for stoppages in this first half. Moses with the throw. Here's Olsen. He hasn't really had the impact that Ron Atkinson would have been hoping for. Now Whelan. Mulby. Good first time ball then to Rush. He's almost away from Hogg. Now McMahon. The pool ushering players forward. Nico. Still Nico. Looking to get past Alverston. Now McMahon. Oh, Beglin. Oh, it was a clear chance. Certainly the best chance of the half so far. And I say so far, the half is almost over. And Jim Beglin there really will know that he should have scored. Completely left free. United disorganised at the back and McMahon's cross finding Beglin and how did he manage to steer that over? Well, at least it will provide a talking point at the end of the half and it's been a disappointing first half, one has to say particularly when you bear in mind the standard of the players on view a tight contest certainly and before that chance for Beglin, Norman Whiteside almost uh, giving United the lead with a header that one or two of the United players felt was handled on its way wide Johnston almost immediately at the other end, having perhaps Liverpool's best opportunity before Beglin's miss right on the stroke of half-time. And at half-time, it's Manchester United nil, Liverpool nil. So Manchester United then start the second half. Six straight home wins for them before today. Certainly they've found a lot of trouble breaking Liverpool down. And Liverpool straight at the start of the second half on the break here with Rush. Walks in the middle and Johnston two. Must be a goal, yes! 18 seconds of the second half. Well, Liverpool threatened to score a goal right on the stroke of half-time. And 18 seconds into the second period. Craig Johnson has given them the lead. The sudden break down the left from Ian Rush, and he picked out Johnston superbly, and well, he may smile. So United have conceded a goal at home for the first time in the league this season. And I wonder if they can pull back from this. What a start of the second half. The graph goes through. And it will certainly raise the excitement level. Olsen. This is Moore. Now then to Whiteside. Stapleton. Well, he hadn't seen Walk. Hughes. Skipping past one tackle, white side. Now then for Hughes. And it came back to him off Stapleton. They let off there for Liverpool. And how quickly now they spring into attack. Rush. For Johnston. Marvellous running by Craig Johnston. Rush arriving in the middle now, and Whelan is Beglin. Straight into the arms of Bailey, but.
Duxbury. Stapleton into the path of right side. Orbiston away to his left here. Surely! Oh, it's got it, yes! And Paul McGrath! Well, it was somewhat fortunate. 19 minutes into the second half. Seemed to cut back off Lawrence. And Paul McGrath was there to steer it in. And suddenly United are back in this game. Olsen, right side, and he was in far too strongly then on John Walk, he quite clearly caught him, and the Liverpool players had every right there to be angry, right side, left his leg in there without any doubt at all, and John Walk was clearly hurt by that challenge, and right side's name will go in the book, you can't argue with that position at all. Well, Kevin McDonald is coming on for Liverpool. Reme Moses is uh, going off. And Barnes coming on for United. So Peter Barnes gets his chance here. Began his career across the city, of course, at Main Road for Manchester City. is back on his feet and seems to be all right though in fact uh, he is coming off anyway and Kevin McDonald is coming on so there's the Liverpool substitution and Kevin McDonald here's also now then for Duxbury clever chip towards Hughes my word that was close this man knows where the goal is. Prolific goal scorer. And he wasn't too far away then. Lovely ball through from uh, Olsen to Duxbury. And then the header just wide from Mark Hughes. Now here's McDonald. Away from McGrath. And here's Johnston. McDonald has continued his run through the middle. Johnston! What a drive! The magnificent effort then by Johnston. It wasn't so long ago that I was wondering if he had a future at Anfield. He most certainly has now. And he's proving one of their outstanding players of the season. Tremendous effort then by Craig Johnston. Here's McMahon. Johnston. Came towards Rush. There's more who cleared. Now Hughes, what a lovely flick, Olsen. Now can he take players on here? Olsen, right side, oh no, they failed to steer it back. And right side failed to beat Grobilar. Just managed to hold on to it. Right side was suddenly in the clear then. Morby's attempted back pass was never going to reach Grobilar. Right side was in there and he tried to chip the goalkeeper and he couldn't manage to do so. Man. Are we in for a thrilling climax? Oh, Rush is away here from Moran. And how well he got back then. Moran was beaten for pace then by Rush. But he just managed to get back to the rescue. Barnes, McGrath. Send Hughes away. Now it's United's chance. Can Hughes finish it? The tackle was a fair one from Beglin. Hughes drops it in. Well, that was an opportunity for Hughes. And what a fine tackle by Beglin. Alberston. Here's Whiteside. 
Barnes. A good ball that was then to Stapleton. Hughes. There's Nicole. Coolly back to Gobilla. Dodges in a little play acting even at this stage of the game. You can't keep this man down. Even if he lost control of it. I think Kenny Dalgley should have been too pleased. Stapleton and Barnes. As Barnes got clear, Robila just managed to push it wide. He closed the angle down, there was really no way for Barnes to pull it back from there. And Robila was perfectly positioned. One minute to go, what a finish. Barnes with the corner. Looking for Whiteside on the near post. Off oh, the bar! It will have been Hughes. And what a let off there for Liverpool. As the ball came back off the bar. And United so nearly found the winner there. A whole cluster of bodies in the area. eventually cleared what excitement rush it's all over well a predictable result from such a tight contest between two so evenly match sides a point that keeps Liverpool in touch Greg Johnston with the goal just 18 seconds into the second half and then United coming back with Paul McGrath scoring the equaliser. Liverpool really couldn't contemplate defeat today against the United side that's got now 13 games without defeat. And so they stay 10 points behind Manchester United, the leaders. The final score here at Old Trafford. After a rousing second half, Manchester United won, Liverpool won.